Software Spring Presence What are the differences between if and ifs in Google Sheets? Hi folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which gives the differences between if and ifs functions. This is the data we will use in this tutorial. Before we highlight the differences, let's take a quick look at the if and ifs function formulas. The if function formula is It's time to look at an example. Note that this range has been named as type. I will give the steps to name a range in just a while. This formula checks if the book type is paperback. If it's true, it will assign 10% discount. Else, it will assign 5% discount. Moving forward, the ifs function formula is Here is an example. This range has been named as size. What does this formula do? It checks if shirt size is small, medium, or large, and assigns the corresponding value. All right, here are the key differences between if and if s. If allows only one logical expression. If S allows multiple conditions. Formula with two or more if within if is same as if S, but formula will be complex. Example. If within if gives the same result as this if S function formula. If S is ideal to construct formula with two or more conditions easily. If S returns error, if none of the conditions are true. Alright, let's begin with a clean slate, to work on the two functions. We will work on the IF function first. Let me name this range as type. First, select this range. Type the range name in the name box, and press enter. Going forward, as always, begin a formula by typing the equal to symbol. Type I, F, and select IF. To construct the logical expression, first, type the first few letters of the range name. Select the named range. Type the equal to symbol, type paperback, between double quotes, and type comma. For value if true, type 10%, between double quotes, and type comma. For value if false, type 5%, between double quotes. Alright, here's the final formula. Press enter. Click the tick mark, to auto-fill these cells with the formula. Ok, if has returned the relevant value based on whether the logical expression is true, or false. Now, let's work on the ifs function. Using the same steps as before, let's name this range as, size. Now, we are ready to type the formula. Type the equal to symbol, i, f, and select ifs. Type the condition 1, and value 1, condition 2, and value 2, and condition 3, and value 3. Alright, here's the final formula. Press Enter. There you go. 
if S has returned the values, corresponding to the conditions that are true. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.